Hello and welcome back to today's video. So we're going to be having a quick look at the integral of x to the 1010 divided through by 1 minus x to the 2022. Okay, so I'll throw it out here that this is a relatively simple problem. You just need to use a clever substitution. I'd suggest pausing it here for a couple seconds. Have a think about it. And when you're ready, let's keep going. Okay, ready? So the substitution that we're going to use is we're going to set u equal to x to the 1011. Okay, and the reason for that is because now we can say x to the 2022 is simply u squared. And also, well, what is du dx? Well, du dx is simply 1011, x to the 1010. Okay, there we are. So now let's rewrite our problem. So now we have the integral of x to the 1010 divided through by 1 minus u squared now. And then dx, we know we can rewrite that just from rearranging this expression here. We can now rewrite this as multiplying this by 1 over x to the 1010 times by 1011. And then we've got that du there now. Okay, so real quick, those will cancel out. We can bring that 1011 out the front. And so now our problem simply becomes 1 over 1011 outside the integral of 1 over 1 minus u squared du. Okay, so now you may or may not recognize this integral here. We have gone through in another video. Uh, there's a couple methods to go through this. So firstly, you can use partial fraction decomposition and then integrate this and you'll end up with two logarithmic terms. Or you may just recognize that integrating a function that looks like this is going to get you the hyperbolic arctan function. Okay, and so that actually brings us to our final answer. So we can just write it as uh, tan h inverse of u over, well, we still had that 1011 plus c. And now let's not forget that we need to go back from u to x. And so then we see that our final answer now is hyperbolic tan inverse of x to the 1011 all over 1011 and then plus c some constant there if you did approach this problem using the partial fraction decomposition method then you'd end up with an answer of 1 over 2022 times the natural logarithm of x to the 1011 plus 1 over uh, 1 minus x to the 1011 and then still plus some constant c. And this is the exact same thing from here to here, since we know that the hyperbolic tan function it can be rewritten now in log form as half ln of x plus 1 over 1 minus x. And here we had x is to the power of 1011. And there we are. So that was today's quick video. So if you have enjoyed, then please leave a like and consider subscribing if you'd like to see more content like this. And if you have any other methods that you would have tackled this problem with, then please let me know down in the comments. As always, I hope you have a great day and stay curious.